Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thelma here of Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Um, today's DIY, I'm going to be doing some pumpkin topia and pumpkin painting them and designing them and using um, mesh, gem mesh, to dazzle them up with. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I already, to save on time, I painted one of those foam pumpkins and I used the Wavery Chalk Ballot Slipper. I got it from Walmart and I put two coats on and then I used the Wavery Chalk Ivory because they were out of white and um, to paint this one. First we need to take this stem off. Get what all off you can. And then take some leaves. You can get them at um, the Dollar Tree or at Walmart. Lay them down on it. That way you'll get a feel for what it looks like. Those are some yellow ones with gold in them. Now I'm going to get some green ones. Sometimes they stick together and now take your scissors and trim them off. You see if you even have to on this size. So you don't have to trim them off unless you want to, but there's a big space in here. We're going to go like that. Make sure you have your uh, glue gun ready. Now just lay, lay your leaves down. Get you some glue. on the back of it, glue them down, be careful not to burn yourself. And make sure you alternate your colors. have three on it so be careful when you when you take them apart make sure you only have one because they the leaves stick together in the package now Take your other pumpkin. Now this pumpkin I got from Walmart. And this is, it was just a speckled, a white ivory, well it was ivory color and speckled, as you can see from right up here. And I just painted it chalk white, and I'm going to leave the stem on. It's going to sit like that. Just adjusted that camera for you all so you could see better. Now put your fair amount of glue here. That way you make sure it sticks and it won't come loose. Make sure you put it on straight. Push it down. 
Now, to put the, you're going to put some little flowers. I have some pine cones and little, I don't know what that is, but you trim it, trim the wire in the back, on the back of it. Because um, if you leave the wire on, it'll be too long and it might not. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Put a pair of amount of glue on your pine cone. Stick it right up in there. Push it a little, but not a lot. Now do the same to this little dooley thing here. And put that in close to it. Okay, make sure it's good and stuck in there. Now get whatever little flowers that you're going to be using. Me, I'm going to go with about three, four, five of them. And again, just Put your glue on the back of it a fair amount. Make sure you get your little string of glue there. And do it. Go around, put it, put it in, Let's track it. I'm going to put one right here and one right here. You want to give it enough space and to look right and to save room for some berries and stuff. Okay, so far, this is what it looks like. Now you want to go in between the flowers with a few little, I'm going to go in with these little berries. I have five, but I probably won't use them all. Get another glue stick. Keep your glue sticks close. That way you can refill fast. And cut your little stems off. Now, just put you some right in in between everything and do that all the way around make sure your stems again are short cut all the way up to the where you're going to be gluing Go ahead and cut all mine off. 
That way, all you have to do is grab your little berries. One more. Okay, now the bottom is finished. Now let's do the top. So I kept the stem on and didn't paint, but we're going to do something. And this is the front right here. I have some little daisies. I'm going to cut them, pull them off the stem. I'm going to lay them in here just to see what they look like. Now again, you can use whatever flowers you have on hand. Or you can go um, to your Dollar Tree or whatever store you prefer and pick you up some flowers. Okay, just put a little greenery up here, just a little. I'm, I'm cutting this straight down the center. And we're just going to lay them sideways. And do green all the way around. Mine is going to take three leaves. Okay, now let's glue them on. Sure you put it on the right side. Now let's put your little flowers up there. Put plenty, just like you did on the other, put plenty of glue. Push down on it to make it stick. And again, mine's just taken four. And you can pick up little different berries and leaves and um, or take them off your other flower arrangements. That's where I got my, um, these down here on the bottom of the flowers are on the wreath behind me. I'm doing away with that wreath. It's a fall one, so I have plenty of flowers. And this one, I've had it, I don't know what it came from. I took it apart a while back. And just had it in with my stash. But this is what it looks like. Now, if you want, I'm get I'm getting ready to show you how to use these um, gem mesh and put on some some um, pumpkins. And if you want, you can do that to the big one here that we just did, the tofu, tofu, tack it. I can't even say the word now. <laughs> this big pumpkin we just did. <laughs> and um, but first we're going to paint this one. I already painted it chalk um, ivory. And we're going to get pink, a light pink. 
I have pink blush from um, Walmart. And what we're going to do is every other one paint, paint it pink. Hold it up by the stem. Go all the way up. Okay, now while this one is, I have it painted all the way around, every other color is pink then white, and while this is drying, we're going to paint um, this one. We're going to, I already drew lines with the black sharpie going up in between, and now we're going to start going across. So we're going to do two lines. You go, you go down like this, and it's okay if you make a mistake. I was just showing you that now. Go all the way up with these. And then start going around. Show you here. Go around. I'll do it one more time. And I'm new at this, so you will see how no, it's not always going to be perfect until you get experience. Now, let me grab my paint brushes. I'm going to be leaving them. My other ones are dry, or, um, drying. So now, what you do, you get a paint brush and pick you out some colors that you want, like. This one is going to be antique gold from Walmart and um, brushed silver. Now every other one you're going to want to paint. Sorry, I should have got my paintbrush out before. But I thought I had enough out laying here, but I used them all on the other pumpkins. Okay, now, you can use any color you want, but this one's white with speckled and gold on top. So, the ones that's already, just paint over them like every other color. Then we'll go in and paint over the other color and you don't have to use silver and gold you can use whatever color you want but I'm trying to go for the metallic look
not the metallic look, the um, the shiny and sparkle look, you know, for um, the decor. I already painted in the last video that I did. I already did one um, uh, antique and um, antique bronze, or or let me see, antique copper, and uh, then I left every other one white. So you might want to check that video. I did another one of the pumpkins on top of each other. And again, it doesn't matter if you get out of line or if you have to go back and repaint it because the painter cover up your mistakes. Or you can leave them, and like I do, and because uh, I, I think it adds character to your work. Okay, now we have every other one, and now skip over. And this one's going to be painted um, silver, and then go every other one. I'm just showing you how to do it if you're new at painting like I am. And the lines I'm leaving black because I have to go to Michael's and pick up a gold um, and silver marker. And I, I think the, the black in it, it helps uh, divide them in between the colors. But just remember to skip one. And we'll go on, but after you let this coat dry, go back over it with another coat. And if you want, you can always paint your pumpkin white if it's like this one with the speckles on it. That way um, you'll have a solid white color back there and, and the speckles won't come through. That's why you're going to have to make sure you go over with the second coat.
Okay, that's what it's going to look like um, without the goat. So make sure, or whatever other color that you're going for, and keep a um, a napkin or a cloth the way you can dab your brush until you can, unless you have a have a little bow with your paint cleaner in it. Now let's do the gold. Okay, now, just in case you do like I did, I accidentally brushed over top of one of my silver, so I'm going to go right back over top of it with the, with the gold, I mean with the silver. And it's this one right here, so you can't even see it, that one. So you can always go back over and correct your mistakes. Now, the, the one that hasn't been painted, go and paint every one of them the other color that you're going to be using down here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said before, it, um, it adds character and makes it unique. Not one pumpkin is ever the same, whether it's painted or not. And you can always see how I put that real thin coat on right there, right here and then go ahead and go over it. For some reason it makes it thicker and um, then you still want to go over it once it dries again with that second coat. And when I get finished here I'm going to show you how you can take your paintbrush and put this paint back in the bottle because there's a lot. If you got a little bit, don't worry about it. But me, um, I don't get to the store that often because of what's going on. And um, I've ran out of some colors when if I'd have done what I'm going to show you, I would have had more. I would still have some of that color.
And I'm on the last one now. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now let's sit it off to the side and let it dry. And don't forget, put your second coat on. Now, let me take this out of this brush. And I'll show you how to put your colors back in. Take your lid off. Matt already know how to do this. And just brush it in there. See, that's a lot of paint to throw away. And, my, and if you're like me and you don't get to go to the store that often right now, you need all the paint you can get. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit left. Or you could also do, I don't know why I poured, pour just a little and then pour some more out if you need more. Okay, now, let me clean my brush and I'll do the gold. Now, this ain't the way I clean my brushes totally. I clean them, too. Let me find... Sure, though. Didn't know where I laid it there for a second. Yeah. There it is. I got the right one. I was getting ready to put it in the pure gold instead of the antique gold because I have some I didn't know which color I was going to use. I am so sorry. Bear with me here. <laughs> now there's a lot here. So you can be putting on your second coat while I'm doing this. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to make one of these pumpkins with a gem mesh on it. Now, all you do with your gem mesh is, let me get my pumpkin, like on this one, I use the yellow some of them are solid colors and some are like yellow and then like a green on the other side and i measured it going from here down and then you hold on to where you stop that and then you take your scissors and you just cut it right up the center and then across and you end up getting a piece like this and you can do this to any size pumpkin the small ones the medium ones like I just showed you and um, I have Two green and two yellow. What I'm going to do is do a green. Now take your glue gun and just go straight down the line here. Doesn't need a lot. And then stick your 
pin on and then if you need some more just put you some more glue now the other green goes straight across from it so it will be right here and you just take glue and go all the way down with it Push down, make sure you don't burn yourself though. And then again, you might need one more little squeeze of glue. Now, you can do these all the way around, but I like it with just four. And then take and measure how you're going to do the other ones going straight across and just run your glue down it one more go straight across and you can even do it on the um, the two big pumpkins that, that I did and you can even put this on them if you want And I'm, not, and I'm taking so long with the glue gun because I'm just trying to get just a little bit of glue and not a big bunch come out. Okay, and here's what it looks like. Just squeeze that glue right there. Okay, so I want to thank you all for joining me today. If you liked the video, um, don't forget to hit that um, like button and hit the subscribe to my channel. That way, you be I'll be on your list over on the side of, of your subscribers. And whenever you want to see some of my videos, find me there, click on it, and my channel will come up. And make sure to leave a comment because um, I really like to hear from my viewers. And I am going to decorate, lay this here, put this right here. I can't talk. <laughs> and let you see everything. That's what everything looks like. And I want to thank y'all again, and I hope y'all have a good, good and happy day, and I'll see you next time.